This is Knight Ministries. I am your host, Jeremy Knight. Don't forget to like the video and enjoy the show. Okay. Hello. I am your host, Jeremy Knight, and this is going to be the uh, series finale of A Biblical Debunking of Flat Earth and Geocentrism. The reason this is the series finale is because I'm running out of material. I pretty much talked about all I can talk about, and at this point I'm basically just repeating myself. So there's pretty much nothing left for me to talk about in this series. So, this is episode 23, and this is the series finale. Okay? Hello. In this episode, we aren't really going to be talking about anything new. In this episode, it's mostly just going to be review stuff. Review stuff from, uh... Topics I have covered in my previous episodes. So, we will not really be covering anything new in this video, okay? No new subjects will be discussed in this video. Just reviewing topics from my uh, previous videos in this series, okay? I'm also considering turning this series into a book by the same name. I'm not 100% sure if I should turn it into a book, but if I can turn it into a book, I'm going to try to turn it into a book. If I was going to turn it into a book, I'd have to uh, go to a Christian book publishing company because Christian book publishing companies are probably the only ones that would publish a book like this. So, yeah. So, and I'd have to uh, change up my sources a little bit because the sources I used for this series are good enough for YouTube, but they really wouldn't be good enough for a book. So I'd have to get better sources. I'd have to uh, get a lexicon. And I'd have to look for most of my sources in that lexicon. Get myself a few good lexicons. And maybe look at getting some Apocrypha too. But yeah, I could probably turn this series into a, into a book. Probably would do a lot better as a book too. Okay? If you haven't seen the uh, previous videos in my uh, series, they will be linked in the description and in the iCard. So, there will be a playlist of all my previous episodes in this series, all 22 of them, linked in the description and in the iCard. Okay? Hello. So, in all my years of recording this series, I have noticed one thing that uh, Flat Earthers always seem to come back to. No matter what the Flat Earthers talk about, they always come back to this one misunderstanding. They always come back to this one misunderstanding. Without fail, they always come back to this one misunderstanding. It all comes back to here. Okay? Without fail, the one misunderstanding that Flat Earthers always come back to, especially when it comes to Scripture, is a misunderstanding of what the firmament is. Without fail, they always come back to the firmament. 
you know, that little, uh, thing that they think is a dome. The firmament is not a dome. The firmament comes from the Latin word firmamentum, which appears in Jerome's Latin Vulgate translation of the Bible. It's basically a huge mistranslation, because what the word actually means is here. The word rachia and here's the word rachia. It means expanse. The word rachia means expanse. Expanse or space has nothing to do with the dome. It never has had anything to do with the dome. It means expanse. In all modern day Bibles, Reikia is always translated as expanse. It has nothing to do with the dome. It is just an expanse. It is just the sky. That's what the firmament is, the sky. In fact, that's exactly what the Bible calls it in verse 8 of Genesis 1. It calls it the sky. So the rachia is just the sky. It is just the sky. Okay? Now, uh, there was another thing that I wanted to talk about. Not the pillars. We've talked enough about the pillars. We don't need to talk more about the pillars. Uh, ends. That can go away, way. We've talked enough about that. Four corners. Yeah, we've covered that enough times. We're getting into idioms territory right now. Because ends of the earth, that's an idiom. Um, the pillars is a metaphor. So yeah, ends of the earth, that's an idiom. Four corners of the earth is also an idiom. Molten mirror, that's an idiom. Well, uh, molten mirror isn't really an idiom. It's more of a uh, metaphor, I think. Vaulted dorm. We don't really need to talk about vaulted dorm, dome. Let's talk about... Isaiah 40, the best proof of a spherical earth in the Bible. I, Isaiah 40. This one right here is the best proof of a spherical earth in the Bible. Isaiah 40, verse 22. And as you can see, here's it translated the correct way from the DRA, translated as globe. So yeah, it it definitely is the best proof that the Bible teaches a sphere that we have.
here's another one and over here I'm just going through how the word chug means sphere or globe it is definitely referring to a sphere because the word that everyone complains about that they think means ball is usually translated as surrounding okay so there, there's another verse I wanted to talk about Got the stretching out of the heavens which refers to uh, the expanding universe like in Big Bang Theory we have we have the footstool no one cares about the footstool it's covered in one of my earlier videos which is linked in the description Didn't I cover Job 27 around here somewhere? That I covered Job 20s. Where's Job? Job 26. Yeah, Job 26. It's in the pillars. <sighs> yeah, right here. Um, where is it? Hangs. Yeah. He, he, uh, he spreads out the northern sky and suspends the earth over nothing can exactly suspend uh, a flat earth over nothing but yeah that's all I wanted to cover he spreads out the northern sky over empty space he suspends the earth over nothing you can't uh, suspend a flat earth over nothing so yeah I think that's a good review that's all we'll talk about in this episode okay so go watch my other episodes okay so in conclusion this is my conclusion the Bible does not teach a flat earth it never has the Bible is not a flat earth book. It just isn't. That kind of stupid stuff is not in the Bible. The Bible says nothing that can even remotely imply flat earth. It is not a flat earth book. So in conclusion, the flat earthers are wrong, and the Bible does not teach a flat earth just does not teach that kind of stupid stuff. Okay? The Bible says that the earth is a sphere. The Bible teaches a spherical earth. Okay? That's my conclusion. Okay. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and ring the bell. And follow me on Twitter and join my Discord. This is Jeremy Knight, and I just wanted to say, see you next time.